Hey there, it's me, Grace. That was weird. <laughs> hey internet, it's Grace, and today I am delusional and think that I'm a beauty guru, so I'm gonna sit here, drink tea, and do my makeup for a show that I'm in called Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. <laughs> today is a matinee performance. Um, it's at 3.30, I need to be at the theater at 2, and I need to do my makeup, and do my hair, and eat my chicken nuggets that are about to be done, um, and then get coffee from Starbucks, because I just, I can't today without some sort of caffeine. So, that's gonna happen. <sighs> and so, I... <sighs> so, I thought for the premise of this video, I do like a chatty get ready with me, and like, it will be cute. Maybe. You tell me. I don't know. This is basic stage makeup for me. I'm not a professional at all. But this is pretty much what I do. So I asked some questions on my Instagram story yesterday. Like, what are your questions about, like, Mamma Mia? Are you gonna come see the show? I hope so. So I'm gonna answer the three questions that I got. Only one of them. Oh, my chicken nuggets! Um, back to business. I got three questions to answer that I wrote down on a piece of paper. So these are the questions that I got, the three questions that I got. I'm gonna answer them and then I'm just gonna improv because theater kid. Hey. The first question is not a question, but this is adorable. Thanks, Lillian. Shout out to my roomie. How are you perfect from Carly? Nope, but thanks, it's really sweet. And then Ellie coming through with the question of the hour. Tell me about the spray tan. I'm a pale person. I know this. If you look at my DNA, I'm just like a cocktail that results in paleness. I got German, I got Irish, I got some Dutch in me, and you put those all together and you get a pasty white child. That's evident in me, and it's evident in my older brother, Barry. We were always the palest kids in any group photo we ever took growing up in school. We were just that kid who was transparent. I've never done like tanning beds, I've never done like spray on tanner or like at home tanner until this show. So uh, I play Sophie, which is a total like dream. I'll talk about that later. As we were rehearsing, I started to realize like, ah, oh, she has spent her whole life on an island in Greece in the sunshine every day. So this girl probably has a tan. I should probably start doing my makeup. That'd be smart. Um, so first I use this L'Oreal Paris um, foundation. This is the darker shade that I bought after my spray tan. One of the people in the cast, her name is Hannah. Love you, Hannah. Thanks. I was talking to her and she's pretty pale too. And she was talking about like how last summer she played Al Woods in Legally Blonde. She um got a spray tan before. And I was like, oh, like where did you go? Like were they nice? Like I'm kind of thinking about getting one. She goes, yeah, this one place um, does a really good job and they're super nice and she's like, but whatever you do, don't get the medium because the last time she got the medium and like it was too dark and it was just kind of a mess. She was telling me about this place and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get one. I work almost every day at three o'clock, so I had to go in the morning. So I went, showed up around like 11 o'clock to this spa. I go in and I was like, hey, um, they're like, hi. Welcome to our spa. It's super fancy in there. They're playing country music, like a classy Midwestern place. 
And I was like, do you do walk-ups for spray tans? And they were like, oh yeah, you're quite fair complected. Do you probably want to go with light? And I was like, <coughs> yep. They gave me the option. They're like, okay, do you want the one that develops over like 12 hours? Do you want, want the one where you just walk out tan, like with a glow? And I was like, hmm. Now I'm going to concealer my face. And this was my logic in my head. Whenever I shop for foundations, a lot of the times, the lightest shade is too dark for me. So, this was what my logic was. I'm going to get the immediate one because then if it looks like a train wreck, I will just take a shower and be out $35. I had like a really perpetual fear of looking like Ross from friends when he gets the spray tan because it was like one of those boosts and I was like, oh no, I'm gonna be Rossed when I get him out of here. I'm gonna look just like Ross and I can't do that. Like I have to be in a show. So I messed up the spray tan. The thing that she didn't explain was like the, prim the priming portion. So she told me like, this is how you stand for like the four step like thing. And so I thought it was just gonna go straight into it. So with the priming, what you're supposed to do is do like one, and then on the front and then one on the back and then they cool, they like blow air on you. The machine lady said like, turn around. Like I thought like it was having like a malfunction or something, I was like, I'm going to pose too. I went like the first pose and then I went to the second pose and it was like, time for color and I'm like, oh, I was supposed to turn around. I should have listened to the machine. I'm gonna go get chicken nuggets before I powder my face. Hey. <laughs> okay, you have been adjusted so I can eat my chicken nuggets. Yep, these are good. So, I get the spray tan. And besides like me messing up the priming portion, it went pretty good. And then I get out, and there's immediately a man, and I look at myself, and I'm like, holy cow. Then I had to go to work, and I was worried, like, everyone's gonna notice and be like, what? Did you get, like, a spray tan? No one said anything. I work with kids, too, and they didn't say a thing, so I was like, okay, kids are always gonna be honest. And they didn't say anything, so it was fine. And then I went to the theater after work. A couple people who knew I was getting it were like, oh my goodness, it looks really good. But everyone else was like, you guys break it, Dan? Like, didn't really notice. So I was like, okay, this isn't that bad. I just powdered my face. And now I'm gonna move on to contouring. And then, Tess, Hannah and I, we play Ali Lisa. Selfie. We were taking pictures, like for promotion, to put like on our Instagram. So we took these pictures outside and I am the tannest one there. And that has never happened to me before. Kind of weird for me to have that feeling like, oh man, I'm sun-kissed. Wow. And now that it's like washed off a couple, oh, when I first took a shower the next morning, so much of it was coming off. I was like, there goes my $35. <laughs> Like all my money just literally going down the drain. Oh man, I'm talking with my mouth going. I tell kids not to do that all day. It's actually lasting really well. I do like it, it's blended up a little bit. I'm gonna move on to blush. Now, since the spray tan story is over, I'm gonna just talk about developing Sophie. I have been obsessed with Mamma Mia ever since I was like around 10, 11 have always really resonated with Sophie. I've just always looked at her and just been like, yeah, I wanna play her. I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. I have a NYX pencil and the glossy boy brow. As far as developing Sophie, I've really been thinking about her for a year and a half, maybe two years. I don't think I can talk while I do my eyebrows. I'm gonna move on to, um, Eyeshadow. I really love Sophie. She's so great. I've seen people describe her as like childlike, and she is young, but I don't think that she's necessarily a child. Sophie knows what she wants, 
and she's just blindly optimistic. And she's like, okay, this is what's gonna happen. And just found out, read my mom's diary, oh boy, I got three possible dads. I really want my dad to walk me down the aisle because I think that she's trying to fill a hole um, that she feels like she has from not having a dad. She has a line in the second act where she's like, I'm gonna do it right, mom. Like, I'm gonna get married and then I'm gonna have kids and my kids are gonna know who their father is. And that's why I'm getting married so young. And she's getting ragged on a lot for getting married so young, especially by her mother. She's convinced Sky to do this. He's doing it because he loves her and that's what she wants. He does want to be with her, but it's very fast. I think what's so interesting about Sophie is her arc because she invites her dads to this wedding and they show up and she's just like, oh, giddy, beyond excited to have like these men in her life. And she's like, oh my gosh, like my dad is here. Like, I don't know who it is, but he's here. And personally, I think it's Bill <laughs> is her father just because there's like an entire song dedicated to him. I think at the end, she doesn't know and she truly doesn't care because she's had like this really great conversation with Sam where during me knowing you, where he like shows her the tough side of things and like a marriage and how difficult a marriage can be kind of like gives her some fear, but she still knows that she's going to be with Sky no matter what. Really what she learns about herself is that all the men like just are like, you know what, we're fine being a third of your dad. And she sees that and she's like, you know what, I'm defining my own family. What's so great about Sophie is that she's trying to be the exact opposite of her mother, but at her core, she's totally Donna's daughter. And I think what's really interesting about her arc, she goes from not wanting to be anything like her mother and running away from everything that is remotely to, related to her to really embracing who she is and really finding who she is and saying, you know what, I don't need a wedding. I love Sky, and I don't need that piece of paper to make that promise to him. She makes her own path. She really finds who she is and it's just really beautiful. And I love getting to bring her to life, honestly. And it's so much fun. Mamma Mia is like the best show to do ever. Now I am going to curl my eyelashes. Yo, let me get ready for my focused mascara face. I'm using Voluminous Lash Paradise because man, oh man, to get the job done. Fabulous. I'm gonna put on some Burt's Bees chapstick. And then I'm going to put on this Glossier lipstick in Jam. And then I put this Smooth Talker Bare Mineral Minerals. Put the Smooth Talker Bare Minerals lip gloss over it. That's it. That's the makeup that I do for Mamma Mia. If you want to, use it. If you don't, I won't know the difference. I'm gonna go curl my hair, hopefully. I, not, not hopefully, I'm just gonna do it. myself, Derek. I... Oh, it's starting to rain. That's fun. All right. Thanks for coming along. We're about to start the show. It's places. No, I'm saying I'm just being hungry.
Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Here we go again. Thanks for watching. Do the things. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>